a depraved man has been banned from being alone with a dog after he was caught having sexual intercourse with his own pet. West Dorset man Peter F. Edwards, 36, was found to have abused his Labrador, Max, and encouraged or allowed another man, Jonathan Barton, to commit bestiality with his pet as well. The pair were caught out when police examined Edwards' mobile and computer devices and found vile videos showing the abuse of the black dog. The court heard that after he was arrested Edwards expressed concern about what would happen to Max, who has since been rehomed. Judge Stephen Climey described the sickening acts as bizarre and utterly depraved and made an order that will prevent Edwards from being alone with any dog for the next five years. But he decided not to send him to prison as he was likely to suffer taunting and violence from other inmates. The court heard that police received an anonymous tip-off from a member of the public who had concerns about Edwards' behavior. An investigation was carried out and photos and videos were found on his devices, including child pornography and extreme pornography involving animals. Officers then discovered some of the images were of sexual activity with his own dog. Edwards, of South Parrot, pleaded guilty to two offenses of sexual intercourse with an animal, one count of encouraging or assisting with the commission of an offense, as well as three counts of making indecent image of a child and three counts of possessing extreme pornographic images. Bournemouth Crown Court heard reports showed Edwards had autistic traits and a high level of intelligence, but showed bizarre attitudes and behaviors. John Dyer, representing Edwards, said he had become very isolated, was signed off work and suffered with anxiety and depression. Judge Climey told Edwards. Concerns were expressed to the police that were proved well-founded. There were extreme pornographic images in relation to animals, some of those proved to be sexual activity involving you and your own dog and also Mr. Barton, who had also become involved in that sexual activity. You will be subject to a community order for the next three years. That may seem like you have avoided the ultimate punishment of going to prison, but I must consider the extent to which rehabilitation can be achieved in a custodial setting. Because of your peculiarities, I don't mean that in an offensive manner, you would be highly vulnerable as a prisoner. You would be subjected not just to taunting, but also some degree of violence from other inmates, and that would achieve very little in rehabilitating you. Judge Climey gave him a three-year community order with conditions to complete up to 60 rehabilitation activity days and a three-month curfew between 8 p.m. and 6 a.m. He also made a criminal behavior order for five years that Edward shall not own, possess or look after any dog unless whilst in the company of that dog's owner. Judge Climey also imposed a sexual harm prevention order and put Edwards on the sex offender's register for five years. If Edwards breached any of the orders he would be facing a starting point of 21 months in prison. Jonathan Barton, 53, of Yeovil, was sentenced after admitting two counts of possessing extreme pornographic images, one count of performing an act of intercourse with an animal, and one charge of causing allowing sexual penetration of a person by an animal. He was given a three-year community order, with up to 40 rehabilitation days and 100 hours of unpaid work, as well as a sexual harm prevention order for five years.